Now, snow and ice seem to have caused the inevitable disruption, closing hundreds of schools and affecting commuters and travellers. And forecasters say there is more of this to come. The Met Office has extended its yellow weather warning into tomorrow for Wales, Northern Ireland, parts of Scotland, the Midlands and the southeast of England. Dozens of flights have been cancelled, with Heathrow operating just three quarters of its full schedule today. Uh, delays on the M20 and M6 motorways with breakdown providers saying they've had 13,800 or so calls today. That's the most on record. Many schools have also closed, including hundreds in Gloucestershire and Staffordshire. Well, our correspondent Rebecca Williams has been spending the day in Cinderford in Gloucestershire. But first, Tom Parmenter reports on how people are managing in Worcestershire. On Milford Close in Redditch, they dug themselves out. This is commendable. How are you feeling? Absolutely shattered. <laughs> Started off at quarter past eight this morning. A few come out feeling guilty. <laughs> <laughs> They've all chipped in and we've literally dug a quarter of a mile up yeah. the hill so everybody can get out to work. It was repeated across the West Midlands. The worst snow since 2010. Four by fours were the order of the day for the district nurses determined to get through. So this is one of many calls today, Helen. Yeah. Uh, we're off to George. What, what's the, the situation here? George is obviously an insulin-dependent diabetic who requires insulin every day. Morning! Hello, George! Yeah, that's fine, George. That's 13.9, OK? Yeah. Without them, we'd be nowhere. <laughs> You'd be struggling. We would. Hundreds of schools were closed, so a day off in unfamiliar <laughs> surroundings. It might not stay until Christmas, but the Midlands right now does have the best decorated trees. It resembles a scene from the Chronicles of Narnia, but this is the Forest of Dean, today a winter wonderland. But for many, the snow caused frustrations as they became stranded in their homes. Bit of a pain, um, everyone panicking, not able to get anywhere and cars everywhere. So yeah, just been stuck in a house for a couple of days. The snow kept the fire service busy in Cinderford as they helped vulnerable people who were trapped in their homes. We're just checking that you're OK. Jen had a fall and emergency vehicles were the only ones that could actually reach her. We've got our range of 4x4 vehicles that we can actually help and support other agencies out there to make sure the people that need our help the most get it. Gloucestershire is one of the worst affected areas. In fact, the snow in some places is so thick people can't get out of their homes. In Cinderford alone, around 1,000 properties have been left without power, and some of those for several hours. Nobody here is going anywhere very quickly. The roads are treacherous. But with clear skies overhead, the warning is that temperatures could plummet to minus 15 overnight, meaning things could get worse before getting better. Rebecca Williams, Sky News in Cinderford.